I've been finding Vida really hard because first I can't really think of any ideas of what to talk about and especially because I've got a lot to do at the moment. I've got a lot of work to do for uni because I've got an exam and I don't know how to revise for that and this is scary. And I'm going away tomorrow for the weekend. I need to pack and, and stuff and a lot of things to plan. Ugh. So yeah, Vida hasn't been easy but I will continue to do it. Yeah, and I do not have a job. I wish I had, but it would probably be in London. I'm like in holidays at the moment. But I hope to get a job for the summer, but that's one of the other things that I'm currently thinking about and that's making me turn crazy, so let's not talk about that. Let's talk about books instead. The first book I want to talk about is this book. Um, which is in French here because I read it in French, but it's called Before I Go to Sleep in English and it's by S.J. Watson. It's a sort of thriller book which isn't at all what I usually read, but my mom told me to try it and I did because, you know, I like my mom and she usually reads good books. And, well, the writing is absolutely terrible. I don't know if it's just because of a translation or if it was the original writing as well, but this is a part that's not good. The story behind it is really interesting. Uh, basically, it's about this lady who wakes up every morning not knowing who she is or where she is. Basically, she loses her memory every night. Of course, we're going to learn why uh, in the book and, you know, things like that because something has to happen otherwise it would be quite a crap book so that was interesting and it actually made me think about memory because one of the things that scare me the most in life is getting Alzheimer's um, or having someone in my family having Alzheimer's because memory is one of the most important things to me I, I like for example I keep loads of stuff and loads of journals and all that and I really know that it's because I don't want to forget anything because I rely so much on memories just because they, I mean, they remind me of good stuff and sometimes bad stuff, but bad stuff is part of love as well. So the idea of waking up every morning not knowing who I am, yeah. I haven't read any other book recently, but I've been doing a lot of reading for my course out of this fantastic course book. Yeah, I did today this uh, reading about identity that... I think, I mean, if you can check, I, I don't know if it's online, I'll try and find it. If it's online, if you can check it out, I recommend you, you do it because I think it's really, really interesting, especially as an expat. It's about how modern identity used to be about fighting your own identity and building it and trying to preserve it and how postmodern identity has totally changed and is now really temporary and is all about having no commitments and sort of living in the moment because the world isn't solid enough anymore to rely on it. Bowman says that identities today fall into four categories, either the tourist, the player, um, the vagabond or the stroller and how they're all about uh, not really having a home and being in places for a short amount of time and never really having uh, strong relationships because always, always going to different places and never really having a goal and as an expat and as a youth of today I thought it was really interesting because some of these things describe who I am which is sort of scary because it's not that positive but it's an accurate description of the world we live in today. I think being conscious of the way we construct our identities today as really temporary is interesting because it makes you think about how you describe yourself, especially for us who are on the internet and are sort of always building an identity on the internet to, to say, hello, that's who I am. It's interesting to see what we choose to put forward. I don't think I absolutely agree with what they're saying about identity biz being so temporary. I feel like young people today are trying to go back to more modern identity sometimes maybe because we realize how everything is changing and how everything is temporary we're trying to make everything more stable again sometimes not always i wish i had more time to talk more about that but i'm pretty sure i've done like four minutes already so if that's of any interest to you girls i'd love for us to talk more about identity next week don't forget to be awesome bye